channel. So today I'm going to be doing probably my most requested tutorial, which is how I stream and how I make my stream overlays. If you've been to one of my streams that I do when I was on my computer, you would probably see my overlays and when I go live I get so 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 many questions about what I used to go live and how I do my stream overlays, so I thought I would finally answer those questions for you guys um, and do a little tutorial on how I make my stream overlays. <coughs> But before this video starts, a little disclaimer is that uh, this is for computer. Um, I do not know how to make mobile stream overlays, so this is just um, for computer. And before I get into how I make my overlays, what I used to stream is Streamlabs OBS. I will put it on the screen right now. Um, I will try and find a link and link it in the description, but I cannot guarantee that I can find that. But yeah, I think it works for PC and Mac. So yeah, with that said, let's get started on how I make my overlays. So first, you just want to go to this website, pixlr.com slash e. I will link it in the, in the description. And you want to click create new. And then go to full HD and scroll down and click create. So this is basically like the basic size for a stream overlay. And then you want to find a background that you want to use. So I think I'm just going to go to Pinterest, Pinterest, and I'm just going to go to Pinterest and try and find a background, but you can go on Safari if you want. I just think that um, I'm going to use Pinterest because I prefer to use Pinterest, but um, you can do whatever you want. So I'm just going to be searching up pink cow background because that's what I want to use for this overlay. And then once you find one that you want, you just want to right click on it and then click copy image and then you want to go back to pixlr and do control v if you are on pc or command v if you are on mac so i'm just going to be pasting in the image and then making it fit the box that i have so once you fit it you can go up to filter and blur it if you want which i think i'm going to blur it a bit um, I try not to blur my images too much, but I do blur them sometimes. Um, so then after you blur it, um, you want to click on the three dots and then click locked. So this is basically my basic <coughs> background for my stream overlay. And then what I usually like to do is I like to add a little chat box thing. So I am going to go down to this shapes icon and switch the um, shape from rectangle to rounded rectangle. I'm just gonna switch the color to white. And then I'm just gonna drag my cursor and make like a little box. Um, so then it usually looks like that. And then you can just move it to where you want. So I'm just gonna move it right here. And then sometimes I like to add an overlay by clicking styles and then outline. And then I'm just gonna match the pink. And then I'm just going to add an overlay, but that's obviously optional. You don't have to add an overlay, I mean an outline if you don't want. So then after I have that, I just like to lock it in place so that it can't move anymore. And then I'm going to go to the text icon and add text. And I usually like to write chat. And then I'm going to switch the font. Um, I think I'm going to use... Um, Winkle. Let me know if you want an updated video on what fonts I use because they have changed a bit. So yeah. So then basically what I'm going to do is go up to fill and make a gradient pattern. You obviously don't have to do a gradient. You can do um, just a normal color but I'm just going to be using a gradient. I'm just going to be switching the blue to white. And then after you like it I'm just going to be clicking layer, rasterize layer. And then I like to add an inner glow. And I'll show you what I mean. So I like to make it like a really hot pink. And then I like to turn the feather all the way up. And the size up. And then I like to bring the opacity down. And it gives it kind of like a glow. Which I really like. And then apply. And then I'm going to add an outline. I'm just going to make it. <clears throat> I'm just going to make it white. But you can make it whatever color you want. And then I'm going to add another outline. And make it pink. Let me just get a pink. And then I'm going to turn it down. So that's usually how I make my text. Um, and then something else that you can do is you can go back to the shapes icon and make it white again. And then you can make like a little spot for your screen if you want. 
usually I don't do that, but you can do it if you want. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do it for this one. And then you, I'm just gonna add another outline. I'm just gonna match the color. So I'm just gonna be speeding up the rest of the process. Um, I may add some overlays, and I also may add like um, some text. This is my YouTube channel name. But yeah, I'm just gonna be speeding this process up. And if you do make overlays similar to mine, it would be really appreciated if you credit, but obviously you don't have to. So yeah, I'm just going to speed this part up. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you've been through. Why you got scars? Since you walked through the door, I've been trying to reach you. Cause I feel you. What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb. Think I've heard it before in a movie line. We can ride our own end in this time. So, I just went ahead and added some clouds, and I also added my name on the bottom. So, I'm pretty happy with that overlay. So, then what I'm going to go ahead and do is click File, Save, and then I'm going to name it to Pink Cow Green Overlay. And then I'm going to switch it to PNG and click Download. So then I'm going to go ahead and open Streamlabs OBS and then I'm going to show you how to actually like import the overlay that you made to Streamlabs. Okay guys, so now I have Streamlabs open and so basically as you can see this is my current stream overlay. So basically what you want to do is click plus and then um, it gives you all these um, like options. Then you just want to click image, add source and click add new source instead and then you can name it so i'm just going to be naming it pink cow overlay and then you want to click add source and then it asks you to find the overlay so then you just want to click browse and find it so i'm just gonna find what i see for those pink cow stream overlay and then um it shows you what it looks like and then you just want to click done and then you can size it um you can resize it um so I think that's how I'll have mine. And then if I drag it below, one second. If I drag it below my screen, then it just looks like that. Uh, so yeah, that is how I stream and that is how I make my stream overlays. This tutorial was super, super, super requested. So I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. Bye.